love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben, and welcome back, Framework Fortune community, guys unchained players, and PKTers. If you caught the last video, my intro to PKT ecosystem, then you're probably ready to start mining. And as I promised, this is the video of how to set this PKT bandwidth miner up. So you're going to go to PKT.cash, link in the description, and then we're going to go over here on the tabs, click on mine. It'll take us to this page. If you click start mining, it will take you over here to PKT mining documentation as well as FAQ, other documentation on the other wallets, pull operation, etc. So tons of information to research and study there. But we want to get mining right away, so we're going to go to set up a wallet. Then we'll scroll down the page here, and there are several options. The one I use, and seemingly the most easy to set up, is this PKT World Wallet. Now, if you do want to transfer your PKT, say to PancakeSwap for that liquidity pool providing, then you'll probably need the Electrum PKT wallet, which it's easy to transfer from the World Wallet over to the Electrum wallet. But we're just going to focus on this wallet here. So once you click install, it's going to take you to this page here. Then you just click download the PKT World Wallet. If you're having any issues and you're using Brave, just click up here on the little brave lion face and you can drop the shields or allow access or whatever PKT needs to get this download. So once it's installed and started, you're going to put in a passphrase. This is basically your password that you're going to be logging in with just like MetaMask or anything else. Then it will give you the option of a wallet seed phrase, which I recommend. A seed phrase or seed words are the best way to secure your wallet. And by doing that, if you do forget your password, you can always get back in with your seed phrase. So be sure to write your seed phrase or seed words down and put it somewhere safe. Now, once you've done that, you should have your own little miner here and you can maximize it. It's a very simple looking program, but you're going to go to wallet up here in the top corner and generate new address. And just like that, you'll have a new wallet address that pops up. So if you want to name it, you can just right click on that wallet, go down to set label, which will prompt to change label here, and you can just name it whatever you want. So we're going to name this YouTube wallet. Set label and boom, right there is the new wallet. So how do we get this thing mining? Once you have it created and you have it highlighted in the blue, you go to miner and there's a start button. But before you start, make sure to go to the settings. This is very important because the threads bar here is going to be how much CPU and possibly GPU takes to run the PKT miner. The higher you set these threads, the higher your CPU usage is going to be. The best thing to do is type down in the right corner on Windows in the search bar, Task Manager, which will pop this little guy up and you can see all your programs running. Now, of course, I'm recording right now. I have multiple Brave browser windows up. I have Discord on. So I mostly run mine at one thread because with all that running, it would push my CPU up, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if I press Save and Apply, then I go to my miner and press Start. The miner is starting. You can see right down here, it'll say Mining Block and it just started so it's mining block zero at 4096 now when you do install the pkt world wallet it is going to take a few minutes to synchronize i forgot to mention that so if it's taken a while for it to get going before you can actually start messing with the wallet just let it finish that full synchronization as it's updating the wallet to the newer versions so once it starts mining you'll see your cpu usage going up so on that one thread I'm running about 26 to 30 percent of CPU going to this miner, which pushes my overall up to 48 percent, 49 percent. Don't get greedy and think you can just throw this up to 100 or some crazy number and it's going to mine you a bunch of PKT. That is not the case. If you run this miner too hard on your CPU and your CPU is running 100 percent or above, even 90 percent, 
you could ruin your computers. Start with one thread with the task manager up, see how that works with the current applications that you constantly have up, and then move it up and try to stay around, you know, 50% of CPU. It's all going to depend on your RAM and your internet bandwidth and all of that of how many threads you can run this miner on. As these KEs and KBs get accepted, your PKT will start to show up in the immature PKT right here where it says zero. And then as it's kind of settling into your wallet, I don't know the back end technical term of what that actually is called, but it will start showing your balance there. And you can see in this wallet, I have 119 mine so far. Now, of course, this is a wallet, so you can send coins by hitting send coins at the top. It will give you this form here, which is just a simple window for sending PKT. You just type your address in there that can receive PKT. Now, remember, PKT is its own blockchain. It's not a token, so you're not going to be able to move PKT yet around Ethereum because it's not on that chain. The only chain that PKT is on besides the PKT blockchain is Binance Smart Chain at the moment, where you can use PancakeSwap to provide liquidity pools or buy and sell wrapped PKT. Now there's a few exchanges like Bitrex out there that PKT is listed on as well if you have access to those, but I believe most of them in the US we don't have access to, which is another reason why I like PKT because nobody should be allowed to tell you what you can do and what you can't do with internet that you're paying for. But for now, you basically can send it to the Electrum wallet, that would be the best idea, and then from the Electrum wallet, go from there, and we'll dive into the Electrum wallet in another video. And then if you're having issues with your wallet, either go to wallet and hit resync, or hit refresh. Usually just try refresh first as that usually fixes it and resync might take a lot longer. You can generate as many addresses as you want it seems but having multiple addresses doesn't mean you have multiple miners. This is still only one miner. You will choose which wallet you want to mine the coins into. Of course you got an advanced tab there where you have some other options and then the only thing left in this miner is you can go to options right here you can set the miner to automatically start mining on login you can minimize it to system tray or if you may need to figure out some troubleshooting you can show the debug output which will require a restart but that's pretty much it as long as you're seeing that kbs and ke's are being accepted and your pkt balance is growing then you are mining PKT, my friends. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And also, if you haven't yet, follow PKT on Twitter. Join the Discord and join the PKT chat to stay up to date with everything. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.